episode of This Isn't Cooking with Corny Pants, it's Extra Credit with Corny Pants, I'm going to be giving you relationship advice. And in order to validate myself as a woman, I decided to wear a dress because one can only give proper advice in a dress. How to make a long distance relationship work. Over my years, I have acquired a lot of expertise and knowledge. 21 years of being single has really done a lot for everything mainly my self-esteem. I go by a motto, it's called C cubed. You know what that means? Triple C, vitamin C, HC, high C. That was a really dangerous drink for like high fructose corn syrup in a little beverage container. Stick it in your juice box and suck it. How to make a long distance relationship work. Number one, communication. Communication is key in every relationship, but it's especially important in long distance relationships. Since you don't get a sex, sex, bang, bang all the time, you gotta actually talk to one another, which is really awkward and un uncomfortable. So it's important to use all of everything that modern technology has given us. It's given us a way to be so much creepier. That's why it was made, so we can stalk our loved ones and make sure to constantly check in on them via text messaging and phone calls. So make sure to utilize the text stuff. Why am I holding these pins? Oh yeah, because I want to stab my eyes out because relationships are absolutely awful. I don't know why anyone would want to be in one, but hey, I'm here for you. You want to make sure you hear their voice just in case when you actually finally do meet them. They don't talk like this because that's a little bit weird. Although I'm into it. You want to make sure you're Skyping them. Any way to stay communicative. Is that a word? It is now. Make sure to schedule times to get your Skype on. Or, I'm not a fan of Skype, I'd rather do chat roulette. So tell your loved one or your whatever, your lover boy, your booty mama, whatever, whoever, your cat daddy, if you wanna talk to him, be like, hey, go on chat roulette this time. And if you don't finally meet up with each other after clicking through, it wasn't meant to be. You'll see a lot of other fun things on chat roulette during that time. Maybe you'll meet a different person that will hold something in your uh, heart. What's number two? There's three C's. Creativity. Be creative with your relationship. I think this is what most relationships are lacking. Like all relationships are lacking. You gotta stay creative. You gotta be spontaneous. Surprises, I love surprises, not surprise sex. That's right, don't do that, don't suggest it. Be creative. I'm talking like sending mixtapes. Nick and Nora Infinite playlist stuff. If you send me a mixtape, I'll marry you, but we'll live in different homes, different states, don't want to see you. I think that's the key to marriage, is living in separate places. My grandma knows what I'm talking about. Oh, she's so awesome. And Nina, that dog died. Write letters, do fun things. If they send you a picture, make it into a pillow pet, or blow it up and put it on, uh, make it into shower curtains, you know? That's more creepy. That could be a C, be creeptastic like me. Tip for the dudes. You don't need to be sending more than one picture a day, especially if it's of your abdomens. If I want to see nice abs, I'll Google Ryan Gosling, all right? You don't need to send me those. Well, no, you don't. If the guy sends you a sexy picture, I guess you could send one in return. I prefer to send, you know, something like this. You should Give, receive equal amounts of love, respect, gratitude. All of those are important. Trust, trust. Third C, create. That's so lame, I already used the word creativity. Oh well, create a plan. That means make goals and follow through with those goals. So let's say, hey buddy, I'm going to talk to you tonight at eight. Make sure you follow through with that and call him at eight o'clock. But well, you should never call him, that's lame. He should call you. If he wants to talk to you, he'll talk to you, you know? Ugh. And it's extremely difficult to not be jealous in a long, you don't want to be a jelly bean unless you're the popcorn flavored butter jelly bean. Those are delicious. If you're that jelly bean, everything's grand. With Skyping, when you make a time to Skype, make sure it's not when you're on the toilet. Um, I do have one very important quote that really just sums up everything you need to know and learn and love about long distance relationships. The best and most beautiful things in the world cannot be seen or even touched. They must be felt with the heart. 
She was talking about long distance relationships there, kids. We cannot see or touch each other, but we must feel the love. I hope that this segment somehow benefited you if you were looking for advice on relationships. Or if anything, it'll make you feel better about yourself. So if you would like to hear me give advice on anything else, um, pertaining to really anything in life, but specifically, I don't know, relationships, dating tips, how to pick up a chick at uh, Chuck E. Cheese, that's creepy. So yeah, just hit me up. Don't do that, ASL. Hey, that's how these long distance relationships work. Oh my gosh, I remember when I used to go in chat rooms and, oh, I shouldn't talk about that here. I'm excited to see what you guys want advice on because I am all about sharing my brain and Googling new things. I'll see you guys soon.